welcome to Office Blokes Reacts. Yes. I'm Office Bloke Dave almost all of the time now. I'm Office Bloke Mike. Absolutely all of the time. I am at <laughs> <laughs> Office Bloke Daz. Yeah, at Office Bloke Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Do all the tweets and the things. Um, yeah. And um, we've got a Patreon channel, believe it or uh, in not. In fact, we have. We've it's going well as well. Tell you what, it's, it's going brilliant. Booming, isn't it? Can someone, explain to, us, much. Can someone explain to us about getting a Vimeo account, linking that to your Patreon and uploading videos to Vimeo instead? I think I know how to do it. Do you, do you think you figured it out? Right, uh, we need right, to do okay. that. Uh, yeah, yeah patreon.com, put in uh, Office Blokes React. And uh, yeah, we are there. If you want to support the channel, go and check it out. Like even, a lot of people have done. You've even got a Discord server, haven't we? Yeah. Well, wherever that is. <laughs> someone, someone had to explain to me what Discord Something box going was. Something going on, has it? Yeah, but, uh, yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah. It's there. A couple of other channels as well, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got Office Blokes Try. Where we try soon. stuff. Coming soon. When's that coming? coming? February the 5th. Friday. Week today. Well, not week today from when this goes out, but a week today from when we're recording. Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, and the one <laughs> that as well. We should have the one chip challenge for that day. It's definitely um, going on. We got we got loads of stuff lined up for that, ready to go. Yeah, COVID sort of like gives us a bit of a back. Uh, put, on, put a lot of stuff on the back burner. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know so, the uh, American football, the ice hockey, the, the uh, yeah, yeah. cages, some of the sports and that. But pretty it'll much ready be, to go, now, aren't we? It'll, it'll give us a couple of months to build the foundation on the tri channel, and then we'll be within the American football team and ice hockey team and stuff. Okay. So it, it, mm. it'll be all right. Yeah, we've, we've also got Office Gold podcast. Mm. Where we talk shit for more about 20 more minutes, shit, 25, more 30 shit. minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> instead of talking <laughs> shit, instead of talking shit for two minutes before the videos we react to, we, we talk shit for like 30 minutes constantly. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Friday, Friday everyday life. Fridays at six yeah. um, <clears throat> UK time. So speaking of COVID delaying things, what if a COVID vaccine was available tomorrow? Funnily enough, a mm. COVID vaccine was available about three weeks ago. Yeah, but we don't get it yet. No. So cause we're not in the uh, category of people getting it. But well, this new one that's just been approved, they reckon people my age are going to get because we'll be the back of the queue. And then that's going to come, they reckon the end of spring, 60 million doses of it. So everyone, like older people will get the Oxford and the other one, the Pfizer, Pfizer one, yeah. is it? Yeah. You like a good dose, don't you, Dave? <laughs> Depends what of, really. I've been I've been dry now for 29 days. <laughs> Shaking there. Yeah, sweating. I know. I know it's tough well, so it's yeah. interesting to see what this goes on about then and when was there it is a vaccine yeah so a few, they've just did, had a new one haven't we as well it's going to get uh, yeah, approved the, the, uh, is it the American this week or next vaccine. week so American one so, yeah which is good yeah so if this was a couple of months ago it'd be good to see if it ties in with what's, what's happening in the yeah, world that's why, that's why I queued it up yeah and we love the What If channel they do some we really do. great stuff so head, head over, over to the What If channel like and subscribe show yeah, some get love on there do some great videos don't they a lot yeah. of effort goes into these videos yeah. and they're all good so far aren't they yeah brilliant right let's do it then mm. <laughs> I thought that was that Bernie Sanders meme <laughs> inside the <laughs> inside the bubble <laughs> went to the supermarket how do you get your shopping though get someone to get it for you and then just Feats hover the outside the bubble <laughs> Feats the object don't I want that one <laughs> With COVID cases on the rise in many countries, the race to find an effective vaccine is becoming a more pressing concern every day. The pharmaceutical company Pfizer has just announced that they have successfully produced a COVID-19 vaccine in the lab, which is 95% effective against the virus. Could this be the solution to the pandemic? And where do I sign up? How long will it take for a vaccine to be readily available worldwide? See, two key things there were readily available and worldwide. Because <clears throat> I know we're leading the world in vaccines, <clears throat> aren't we, in the UK? Yeah. As far as rolling them out goes. But not that they're not readily available yet, because it's obviously going to the vulnerable first. I reckon, though, right, <clears throat> if you tried hard enough, you could get vaccinated in this country. It depends how much and obviously depend on your age like for me being 34 no, I mean um, any of us yeah if we tried hard enough we could get vaccinated I think I think we probably could but it's whether or not you want to take one from someone who's of a, a higher tier yeah no no I know I know what yeah. you mean but you yeah. think we could yeah I I'll, think a lot go to waste also I do think a lot go to waste to be fair but that's that's probably a conspiracy theory so we better probably yeah. better not touch on that one what makes the Pfizer COVID vaccine so unique? And who gets access to it first? Can I 
called dibs on it? This is what if, and here's what would happen if a COVID vaccine were available tomorrow. Get the pubs open. <laughs> With over a million deaths and counting, COVID-19 has hit hard. In order to stop it in its tracks, we'll need vaccines to be distributed worldwide. But how can we determine which countries... Wouldn't use our drivers. <laughs> <laughs> It'd take a take while. Forever. It's... Uh... This is going to be one to look back on, and it? it really is. Just just seeing, I remember when they were, that was outside New York, wasn't it, where they were digging the big holes and burying the bodies at the beginning of the first oh, lockdown, yeah. It's been in a few countries I've seen. I've seen it in Brazil as but well. They were doing it on an island just off New York, mm. I think it was, and it was. I remember watching it, and the effectiveness of seeing that on the news mm. was yeah. dark, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, in a really yeah, developed yeah, Western country. Mm, yeah, yeah. I've not seen that for probably six, seven yeah, months. Yeah, that yeah, right, clip. you're right. You're right. So it's, it's huge, isn't it? Get the vaccine first. Would the richest nations get access before the poorest ones? With lockdowns stifling many countries' economies, could everyone afford it? Some of the richer countries, like the UK, have signed expensive agreements with six potential coronavirus vaccines. This has sparked controversy, as hogging a vaccine before it's made could leave vulnerable countries behind. Putting in an order isn't hogging. Though. I think that's a bit unfair. Mm. Possibly that bit, <laughs> because you, you've got to fund the development of the vaccines Correct. and the pre-orders. I mean, we, I think we gave hundreds of millions to these companies, which has gone towards the development of the vaccines. Well, the thing to is, get the pre-order. We also, I think, we committed to these vaccines before we even knew that they worked. Yeah, you know, we paid towards it, paid towards development, and we said, right, well, this is how much we're going to buy. And I think we sort of like committed to it, up, you know, before, didn't we? We didn't yeah. know they'd work, so. Well, some people who are, who are complaining about it now, about hogging of the vaccine, haven't even approved the vaccine. Oh, no. And they're wanting, they're wanting yeah. cases of it. They're wanting doses of it, sorry. And they've not even approved it. So they can't yeah. even use them, so they'll go to waste. Correct. Yeah. Luckily, the WHO, or World Health Organization, has created the COVAX plan to level the playing field. Its aim is to raise $2 billion by the year 2021 to help buy and fairly distribute a vaccine worldwide. Many countries are pooling their resources together, and they hope to guarantee 92 lower-income countries in Africa, Asia, and Latin America fast and fair access to the vaccine. If this COVAX plan works, all the countries involved will receive enough doses to vaccinate 20% of their population, starting with the most vulnerable people first. I didn't know that they were doing that. That's really good. Yeah. Actually. Oh, you, you could see mm. it's everyone's benefit if everyone around the world is vaccinated. Yeah. It just is. It's no use to just one country being vaccinated because no. you just won't get anywhere, will you? No, but it's it's got even worldwide. that's more of a, how it affects us view. But again, I never even considered there's poorer countries out there that might not be able to afford the course, vaccine yeah, in yeah. the first place. Yeah. So, you know, the more developed nations pull the resources, send vaccines out. I think that's, that's great. Yeah. It's a bit of humanity, isn't it? I think you should take this. the 20% from China, though, and mm. give it to someone else. <laughs> I, I doubt we're sending vaccines to China. I mean, to be fair, all the, all the richer countries always send humanitarian aid to all the other you know, third world countries yeah. you know, all the time. You know, I think yeah, we're, one of the, we're one of the biggest contributors in the world for that sort of stuff. We are indeed, and they'll probably use that money mm. to for vaccines and send them to you know, poorer countries. You, commit, you normally commit yeah. a percentage of GDP, don't you? That's right, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. For foreign aid. We've stopped yeah. it. We've actually stopped it this year from, from where well, we've reduced it. Yeah, I think America have reduced it as well because mm. everyone's starting to look internally to sort their own problems out before they can be in a position to help mm. everyone. Yeah, yeah. They'll be on a steady footing. But yeah, we don't send them to China. They've had a vaccine all along. <coughs> 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 Joking. <laughs> Would include healthcare workers, the elderly in nursing homes and their caretakers, as well as people with medical conditions putting them at risk. Then people over 65 would be next in line. And You're not far, Mike. You're, you're high up that list. You're about 64, aren't you? Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally, people under the age of 50 will get it last. These vaccinations will be distributed to convenient locations like schools, pharmacies, and even train stations. Listen, Dave, if our drivers are distributing it, you'll be over 50 as well by the time you get Kid it out. anyways. <laughs> Kids will be over 50. Anything to do with ours. Well, we won't know for sure how bad the... 
for anyone who keeps talking of it. I'm just thinking about our drivers delivering it. It'd be one bottle on a trolley, <laughs> wouldn't they? But your delivery. Yeah, they'd leave the van open so that the rest oh, of yeah, 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 the back, back out of the van. on the van. Yeah. <laughs> Pandemic will get before the vaccine is readily available. Researchers mm. suggest that the death count could reach two and a half million by January. But if we. We're just going to keep pausing. It's like every 10 seconds. What is the death count, the global death count? Because we are in January now. Because I know it's gone not. crazy in a few countries, including here. We're yeah, I'm over, not sure. That I'd be guessing. Our death count's just gone over 100,000, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd be guessing if I, I, I know it's over it's a million. A couple of million. Was it a couple it's over, million? I know it's over a million. Yeah. But I know it passed a million quite a while ago. Yeah. I think everyone's on the same trajectory. Even the countries that have handled it well, if they don't vaccinate everyone soon enough, it's going to go crazy like it has done over here again. There's a new strain. It's just going to, I think it's going to do that everywhere, to be fair. Yeah, could do, yeah. We've led the world in new strains going really bad and ravaging the population. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Still world leaders. Step up our acts, mm. wear masks, and keep our distance. This number could be a lot smaller. So, how exactly will this vaccine get approved? Well, first, it must go through rigorous testing to ensure that it's safe. This can be a long and expensive process, and normally, only about 10% of vaccine trials are successful. Before a vaccine can be tested, it has to first undergo screenings and evaluations to determine which antigen should be used. Antigens are like the secret weapons of the vaccine. They contain a small amount of the disease or virus-causing organism to trigger an immune response. In this preclinical phase, antigens are tested on animals which share similar genetic makeups to us. If all goes well, scientists will then start phase one, where a small group of human volunteers are given the vaccine. Researchers and doctors will monitor if the right immune response is triggered and figure out the correct dosage for humans. In phase two, the vaccine is given to several hundred volunteers of varying age groups. And finally, in phase three, thousands of volunteers will be tested. These tests... Just test them on prisoners, right? Make it easier. Well, well volunteers. Mm. On, that, yeah. on that note, actually, because the... Uh, <clears throat> That dickhead that killed Lee Rigby's in a very bad way with Corona, isn't he? In hospital. Or, I'm, or hoping is he dead? I'm hoping he's dead by now. Uh, he might yeah. have died by now, but yeah. He, so I don't want him getting the vaccine. It's a good point. Screw that. Yeah. Unless, unless it's one that goes horrendously wrong. <laughs> um, what I was going to say, though, is that. Makes his head shrink. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> they've, they've tested the, uh, the vaccine on mice. So that means that the vaccine isn't vegan. It's not animal friendly, so it can only go to like ethically vegans can't have the vaccine if it's really? an ethical point of view because it's tested on animals. Ah, so I maybe see. it was China's ploy to get rid of the vegans. It's just a thought. Don't take don't take anything I say seriously ever. <laughs> Will be conducted across multiple countries to assure the results of the vaccine apply to many different populations. After all is said and done. Each country will review the study data and decide whether to authorize the vaccine for use. Once it's made public, the vaccine will need to be constantly monitored. A bit brutal, that injection, wasn't it? It was a bit, it? yeah. <laughs> Just something went, ew. <laughs> to ensure it works as it should. So, what's so special about this Pfizer vaccine? And when can we get it? Well, the Pfizer vaccine is currently in phase three of testing, meaning it's being tested worldwide. Companies are waiting for more data to come in before they begin manufacturing. Unlike traditional vaccines, the Pfizer vaccine uses a novel genetic technology that is on the forefront of science. Using synthetic mRNA, the immune system is activated and fights the virus mRNA vaccines are unique and have never been licensed for an infectious disease. Traditionally, vaccines inject small doses of the disease-causing organism, but mRNA vaccines trick the body into producing some of the viral proteins itself. Think of it as a tiny cellular magician. Instead of rabbits, he's pulling coronaviruses out of its hat. Abra Corona. So far, the vaccine has been tested on 43,500 people with only mild side effects. 
it will require two doses, three weeks apart. Pfizer has reported that up to 50 million doses could be available globally by the end of the year. And they expect to have 1.3 billion doses ready in 2021. While all this sounds hopeful, one of the challenges will be distributing it. The vaccine must be kept at minus 70 degrees or below in order to last six months. Just give it your ex-Mrs. Dave. <laughs> She'll keep it cold. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she sits in front of your log burner. <laughs> you know what? I was ready for a nice weekend. Hey, it's Friday. Nice. It's almost the evening. And it's just <laughs> dig, just gone. Dig. Oh, you God. with me, right, Mike? Yeah. Right, I'm off the wagon now. <laughs> That's it. Fuck You're dry, January. Fuck Two dry, days to go. Look what you've done to him now. <laughs> This can eat up a lot of energy and money and can be a challenge for top hospitals, let alone rural communities. Hopefully, the COVAX plan will cover the costs. Even if the vaccine is ready to go, it will not be a quick fix and will likely take years before everyone is vaccinated. Well, I hope it doesn't take more than two years. Well, guess what? That's a story for, for another, another what, what if. if. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I interesting stuff. Probably the most we've ever paused a video as well. It but it's just, you know why? It's very topical, isn't it? It, it is, is absolutely topical. Because that's what's happening yeah. right now. Yeah. And when the Oxford right. vaccine doesn't have to be at minus 70 degrees. No, or which why? is absolutely massive no, bonus, isn't it? We're a bit more yeah. advanced, aren't we, with um, with some of the vaccines coming out now than what that video suggests. Yeah, it's like, is it four available now, at least? I mean, well, there's the, probably more, because I think if America got another one, I think there's one in Russia, is there? And... Uh, the Russians, in, I think in India, I think they've had one for oh, a they? couple oh, of right. months. But especially the Russian one, there's been talk of it not necessarily being... What the what it's to be, stuff, but, yeah. but who knows? Because they do have amazing scientists in Russia. Oh, yeah, you know, all scientists are proper amazing, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, they do. apart from theoretical with... physicists, yeah, they're all oh, they're all amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep digging at them until they come for me. <laughs> I just no, want to know what Bill Gates is gonna do with all these people when he's uh, programmed them. Yeah, mm. I know. Macs are gonna go out the window. Everyone's gonna be back to Microsoft, aren't they? Oh, so that what it is? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what it is, isn't it? Your iPhone will become magnetic, but the other pole, and it'll just fly out your hand. <laughs> Zoom. It'll not stick to the lamp that have got five G on them. <laughs> <laughs> Big massive collection of iPhones. Yeah, oh, dear, it, it is interesting, and thank it is, thank it. God we actually do have a few vaccines now. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Because they're, they're talking. Wales are usually they restrict the population more than we do in England, don't they? They've they've come down. I thought hard. you meant that. I meant like the Wales in the no, sea. No, no, <laughs> Wales are already vaccinated apparently. Um, no. No, but the country, Wales, have already they've had severe restrictions compared to Yeah, there's to only ours. a few hundred thousand that have been vaccinated in Wales. I saw it today on the news. Oh, right, okay. the, the kids, in some cases, are going back to school in two weeks in Wales after no, half they just, they just extended a lockdown by another three weeks. No, but they said on the radio today that the youngest kids and kids with exams straight after half term are going to be going back. They've just announced it. I only saw that mm. they, they, they extended that. the uh, lockdown mm. three more weeks. But anyway... When can we go to the pub? That's, that's why I wanted that. That's exactly yeah, yeah. what I was just going to say. <laughs> Should give it to the people who go to the pub first. <laughs> well, the economy going. All the regulars. Yeah. All the regulars first, there, yeah. There is a couple of countries, I can't remember, I think maybe Indonesia or somewhere, where they're giving the vaccine to the working population before the vulnerable to get the economy right. back going. And, and it's like the vulnerable just have to carry on isolating for a couple more months. Yeah. Let's get all the workers vaccinated. Get the economy going, and yeah. which is a big factor, I suppose, isn't it, and as well? You could argue that the transmission is more between the less vulnerable people because they're the ones out and about interacting, going shopping to the supermarket, yeah. going to work. We're more likely to catch it than someone that's old, that's isolating. Yeah. Mm, so it's, it'd a, be interesting a, in years to come to see... What they think of it when all the data comes yeah. in. And, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, next couple of years, I mean, it's going to be amazing when they get all the data and say, right, this has happened, this is what we could do better. You know, there's so many different things. Yeah, that can look at. Is or, it, uh, it's just interesting to see who's going to have got it right, if anyone. Yeah, absolutely. Or who's, of course who, it is. Yeah, who's got it the best. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Yeah, interesting though. It was. Enjoyed that. It was, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Topical. Hope you guys liked it too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Tell your mates about us. Follow us on Instagram. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers.